it's a tough time to be a coral. Scientists say a third of the world's reef building coral species are at risk of going extinct. It's like a, a murder mystery. It's a, a whole bunch of possible culprits. That's marine ecologist John Bruno. People throw anchors overboard. They drag on the bottom and kill corals. <gasps> There's dynamite fishing. There's um, watershed issues. Deforestation or different forms of agriculture can cause sediment pollution on the reef. Which can smother and kill coral. Coral diseases are a huge problem, particularly in the Caribbean. And then at the global scale, there's things like ocean warming. An observable climate change impact, Bruno says. And then we've got future threats to worry about, particularly ocean acidification. Given these global threats, John Bruno and his colleague Elizabeth Selig wanted to know whether underwater reserves called Marine Protected Areas, or MPAs, had any effect on coral. And to be honest, I've been very skeptical of this whole idea that MPAs are beneficial to corals. Because they mostly just put in place catch limits for fish, if that. A big portion of the world's MPAs are really just paper parks. On the books, but no enforcement of regulations. To find out if the MPAs had an effect. We built a database of over 8,000 surveys over the last 40 years. And the surveys go something like this. One diver writes down how many coral are healthy or if they have diseases, and then another follows behind taking video. The scientists use stills from those films to analyze coral cover, the percentage of the seafloor covered with coral. More coverage means a healthier reef. So based on surveys from all over the world... What we found was that there was indeed an indirect benefit for corals inside MPAs. On average, coral cover outside of MPAs declined, while inside MPAs it stayed constant, and even increased in MPAs that had been around for a while. The difference was modest, but it's a little surprising that there's an effect at all. It is surprising. Given that many of the coral killers can't be roped off. A new study on the Great Barrier Reef may provide some explanation. Crown of Thorns starfish is the major source of mortality, of, of damage to corals on the Great Barrier Reef. And there were fewer outbreaks of this predatory starfish on the managed parts of the reef, according to Dr. McCook's study. And we don't understand the exact mechanism, but it's got something to do with there being more of the predatory fish and there are more of them because those reefs have been protected from fishing. The hope is that by mitigating these other factors, things like predator outbreaks, the crown of horns, that we can increase the resiliency of reefs to these global stressors. Which are likely to only get worse, the researchers say. That, that's exactly right, and uh, we need to be doing everything we can. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.